Welcome back to another episode of our Motorcycle Product Review Show. I'm Mario Orsini and... I'm Lance Collins. And tonight we've got another new exciting product for you. So Mario, what do we have this evening? Oh wait, we're changing things up. It's my turn tonight. Actually tonight we have the Fly Igniter Pro heated glove. Now you may remember we did a review on the Fly Igniter heated glove depending on when you're watching this a few weeks ago, but tonight is the pro model. So am, am I gonna talk about this? Or you you're gonna talk? talk about this tonight. I'm gonna talk about this because we changed things up a little bit. Normally we get a product and we get to play around with it for maybe a day or two beforehand. This time I got a few extra days with it and I got a chance to really try this thing out. And I gotta tell you, it was pretty damn impressive. So, um, uh, what were the things you kind of liked about it when you got to test it out? All right, so compared to the last glove we worked with, uh, the last glove was more, to me, as an all-round glove. And we can discuss that more later on. This was more of a motorcycle rider glove. And the reason why I say that is as soon as you pick this glove up and compare it to the other glove, you're gonna notice this is more of a motorcycle rider friendly glove as compared to the other one. It's a little bit more of a sleek design. It's got knuckle protection on the back side of it. Uh, the the gauntlet cl cu uh, cuff on oh God, I can't talk. The gauntlet cuff on it was uh, a little bit sleeker. Pre-curved fingers on it, and the really really cool thing about these also waterproof. Uh, what does this glove do compared to the other glove? Well, it's kind of the same as the other glove. It, it's it's a winter heated glove. The only difference is. And this kind of gets on our next question of who is it for. It's more for the motorcycle rider. And I'm going to say more specifically for the street rider. Street rider. So what do you like about it, Lance? You've had a chance to mess around with it. Um, I definitely like that it's a lot lighter. Um, the glove itself is a lot uh, slimmer than the other one, too. Um, and the touch screen for your phones works a lot better with this one. Yeah, we got a chance to mess around with that. I guess it's been four or five days ago now. Um, I actually sent, I mean... Granted, he was standing three feet away from me. And I sent Lance a text using that. I was able to unlock my screen, punch in my passcode, and then send him a test text. Not one mistype on the keyboard. Much, much easier to use than the other glove. Another feature I, I like about this glove too is uh, they've incorporated the reflective uh, piping onto it. So you do get a little bit of uh, safety you know, with it, with the knuckle protection and people can see uh, at nighttime, you know, with, if they're coming at you with their headlights there. That, so. that was definitely something I noticed. It did not mess up the cool look of the glove, uh, but it does give you a little more added protection. Another thing I liked about it. The fly, the fly emblem. It's also got fly on the uh, pinky of both of them. Uh, the other thing I really liked about it, you look at the palm of it, there on the meaty section of your palm, it's actually reinforced. So for those of us, you know, if you've watched any of my travel videos, you know I have 300, 400, 500, 600 plus mile days. It's nice to have that pad of protection. I don't know that I'm gonna be riding in super cold temperatures all the time, but it is nice to know that I could uh, without my hands getting numb or, or uh, you know, getting fatigued. So, uh, is there anything you didn't like about it? Well, no, honestly, I do like this glove. Um, all the features are good. Uh, everything is, it works how it's supposed to. Um, I, I know a lot of pe a lot of glove manufacturers and other companies out there that make this stuff. Uh, they, they claim it does you know this and that, but when it comes to actually testing it out and using it, uh, you find the flaws in it. And and this one so far, we haven't found the flaw yet. Uh, batteries charge up good on them. They seem to last pretty long. Um, definitely no wind cut cutting through them. So this glove is awesome. All right. Speaking of that. I did get to test these out. We're gonna cut over in just a second to my review of them. I got to take them out on a, depending on what temperature gauge you wanna go off of, 24 to 28 degree day. And uh, check it out, see what you think. All right, so we're back on the bike, testing out the brand new Fly Igniter Pro heated glove. I know a few weeks ago on the show we tested out the uh, Fly Igniter heated glove. This is the Pro model. Thought I'd give it the uh, the true treatment. Try it out on the bike. See how it works. Not the best weather conditions this morning for riding. Yet pretty good weather conditions for checking out these gloves. Just wish it wasn't so foggy. Uh, as you saw, my phone was showing like 27 degrees or something. Uh, 
thermometer here on the bike showing 36. I'm pretty sure it's still below freezing. I uh, still got a frost on the ground. Perfect condition to try out these gloves. I've got them turned on right now. They've only been on for maybe a minute, minute and a half. I can tell you, I can feel the warmth. I'm really gonna test out how warm they get. They, they've got a, they've got a, quite a few different settings on them. Uh, we're not gonna test out how long they stay warm because I don't plan out staying, staying out on the bike very long. But also gonna be uh, checking out, you know, do they keep my hands warm? They're made out of a nice insulate material. These things are really, really sweet. Okay, another cool thing about these gloves, they do have the ability for a touchscreen display. I tested that out yesterday on my iPhone. Worked really, really well. Obviously here on my GPS, they're glove friendly anyway, so it doesn't really add uh, anything extra there. And they're, they're like dealing with any other winter glove. They're maybe a little less bulky than my, my standard winter glove. Uh, but anytime you're dealing with some sort of winter glove, they're gonna be a little bit thicker, a little bit uh, more difficult to uh, to operate your GPS and sometimes even the controls on the bike I don't know how many of you guys ride in 28 degree weather but I feel confident in saying your hands are not gonna get cold in these gloves I do have them cranked up right now uh, I don't feel any sort of wind getting through I think my hands would you know be pretty cold just to just to be out in the open air right now not moving the fact that we're moving at about 60 miles an hour I feel nothing except the warmth of the uh, heating elements inside these things. All right, now we're gonna give the gloves the ultimate test. 28 degrees, uh, going down the interstate about 70, 80 mile an hour. If they can hold up to this, uh, I'd feel pretty confident recommending them. So we'll see what happens. windshield up a little bit there we go I'm gonna tell you what even at 80 miles an hour and keep in mind it's only 28 degrees out right now normally my bike reads a couple degrees warm so it may even be a little bit cooler at 80 miles an hour I feel no wind uh, there's there's no air getting in these gloves at all my fingers are still warm and toasty they're not too hot uh, I have a feeling I'd probably have to turn them down a little bit if we were in the 30s you know, upper 30s, lower 40s. But uh, right now they're really, really comfortable. If they stayed at this temperature all day, I, I, I don't think my hands would get cold at all. A couple of other things that, that make these gloves different than the ones we tested the other day. They're a much sleeker glove. They look more like a motorcycle, uh, you know, sport bike rider glove. Uh, they do have some really nice knuckle protection uh, sewn into the glove there. You can feel that uh, as soon as you pick them up. The other thing I like about them is the gauntlet. The gauntlet is sleek, but it's still wide enough. I mean, this is a really heavy jacket uh, with a liner in it and a hoodie underneath. Still got enough Velcro there to Velcro the gauntlet. It comes back far enough. It should work with just about any jacket uh, to really help keep the wind out. Uh, also, the gauntlet's where the, uh, where the battery packs held. We'll show that. I guess the next question is, do they still work at 90? And the answer is yes, they work at 90. All right, now that you've heard what I've had to say about the gloves, Lance, what do you have to say about them? Another cool thing that they have is they have a Hypora liner, um, which is a breathable, windproof, uh, and waterproof liner. Uh, for the glove. Another cool feature is the um, LED indicator, which is your thermostat for the gloves. So very, very easy to use even when you're wearing the glove and or riding the motorcycle. Um, another another cool thing is uh, the actual insulation or insulate is a 3M Thinsulate for this. So uh, a lot of people look for that in gloves and boots and clothing. So it does have that also. Cool. Uh and this is always the big question of each of, our, each of our reviews that we do. Would you buy a pair? This glove, I'm not going to say that I wouldn't buy a pair. Um, I would buy a pair if I rode motorcycles a lot more. Unfortunately, I work at a motorcycle shop and you don't get to ride as much as uh, everybody else does. But uh, if I was a street guy, definitely. Um, you could also use this glove for other things too. Um, but for me, 
I'm going to go with the uh, the igniter over, over the igniter, the igniter you glove. Because for me, I'm going to use this more for you know shoveling, snowboarding, stuff like that. Um, but I'm not going to knock this glove. This glove is awesome. It's it's light. It's thinner. Um, it's got protection. So if I was riding, yes. But I don't ride a whole lot uh, of street. Um, I do more motocross stuff. So. And that's a fair assessment. For me, I'm going to be on the opposite side. As much as I like the Igniter heated glove, I actually like the Igniter Pro heated glove more because I am a street rider. Um, I do like to ride my Yamaha FJR, even when the temperatures are a little bit cooler. I don't know that I'm necessarily going to be riding below freezing too often like I was in the video, but uh, it is nice to know that I got the battery backup. And even without the battery backup, I feel like they're warmer than my. I guess I can say it, my Olympia gloves that are that are my winter gloves. So would I buy a pair? Yes. Am I going to buy a pair? TBD, we'll see. <laughs> Chances are I'll probably end up getting a pair because I really, really do like these gloves. Now the next question we get to is what would you consider instead of these gloves? I think we've kind of already answered that. Yeah, you, you take a look at the Igniter heated glove. Um, I would say, correct me if I'm wrong, Lance, it's got a little bit more range of what it can do. Yeah. But not necessarily better or worse, just different. Just a little different. It, it, it's just a thicker glove. Um, I mean, as you guys saw in the last review, I mean, it, it looks like a, a winter glove. This one, more of a heavy duty street glove. It, I mean, most people wouldn't even realize that that was a heated glove, you know, no. until they saw it lit up or so. It's a lot, definitely a, a, little, a little more street oriented. And I, I totally agree with Lance. If you didn't get to see the last review of the Igniter heated glove, you can click right up here. We're gonna link the video. Not my head. <laughs> and you can check, we need to get a makeup girl in here to take care of the <laughs> uh, And so you can check that video out for yourself and see what we had to say about it. So a couple of uh, last things to go over here. First off, hope you enjoyed the, the review today. If you have any questions about the Fly Igniter Pro heated glove, please ask in the comments below. We'll try to respond to everyone. Or any Cons other comments too, any other yeah. suggestions. Yeah, um, if you've got some other gloves that, that you enjoy, let us know. If you've got another pair of gloves you'd like us to review or any sort of product you'd like for us to review on the show, please let us know. We'll do our best to get a copy of it. Also, if you'd like to talk to Lance more about these gloves or something else we reviewed on the show, you can give him a call right here. Uh, or if you don't want to talk to him, you can email him at the email address right here. We've also linked both of those below. Um, thank you guys for tuning in again this week, and we'll see you again soon. Let's see if they work at 100.